Here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. All right, after the strong storms this morning, a good part of this afternoon is looking okay, but we're still tracking some additional showers and possible thunderstorms to move through late day. Here are those rainfall numbers from this morning, and it came down hard, but rather briefly, so many spots didn't quite get to one inch, but Taunton, you did over one inch of rain here. Providence, about a half an inch, and just over a half here in Westerly. We'll likely add a little to these totals here as this next round of rain arrives. But notice this is a long way away, so we have some dry time to enjoy as we Check this out on live pinpoint Doppler 12. You can see as I put this into motion, this has a lot of real estate to pass over before reaching Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. So before the rain showers arrive, we may actually break out into some sunshine. You can already see a little bit of clearing in the clouds overhead, although it's been mostly overcast. Once we get even a little bit of sunshine, that should lift our temperatures fairly quickly. Right now we're still sitting in the upper 50s in Providence, 58 in Patchett, 52 in Newport, 56 in Narragansett. With our winds out of the south at around 9 miles an hour in Providence, 8 in Newport, 8 in Westerly, our wind gust map is totally empty right now. I'm not expecting this to continue, especially later this afternoon as the winds really start to ramp up. And that will be helped by the center of low pressure, disturbance out ahead of it. Once we get behind that, it ushers in the cold and windy conditions, or at least cooler and windy conditions than what we're seeing right now. So this is 2 o'clock this afternoon on our future cast. Notice the chance of some showers and even a slight chance of an isolated thunderstorm. I don't think we're going to see nearly as much lightning as what we saw this morning, but the threat will be there for just a quick uh, thunderstorm primarily there for the higher elevations of Massachusetts and then 4 or 5 p.m. Still the chance of some scattered showers. We dry things out tonight and bring in that cooler air. So by the time you're waking up on Tuesday morning or driving to work under sunshine, albeit some cool sunshine. Temperatures today mid 60s around 2 p.m. with a chance of those showers. Notice 8 p.m. We're down to 51. That's when the winds are really picking up 10 to 20 gusts of around 40. So it will feel more like the 40s. Even by 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, you're going to start to feel those winds turn and pick up a little bit, making the air feel just a little bit more chilly. And you can see that reflected on our temperatures. Here's mid 60s this afternoon. Notice by around 8 p.m. We're down to the 40s in places like Smithfield, probably feeling like the 40s in Providence already with those winds coming out of the west northwest and then overnight into tomorrow morning, you could see temperatures in the low to mid 40s, but it will feel more like the 30s with that wind going tomorrow morning. So a couple things here in the seven day forecast. First of all, note how we have uh, some of our temperatures outside of Providence in the upper 30s tomorrow, around 40 for the capital city, getting up to 60 on Tuesday. On Wednesday, 59 is your temperature, and then a slight chance of showers on Thursday, but I would say the much better threat would hold off until the end of the week. We're talking Friday into the weekend with those temperatures into the mid 60s. And then on Sunday, a slight chance of a shower, although it looks like the chance of showers would decrease a lot by the time we get to Sunday. Of course, there are a lot of ways to track weather, especially on a day like this when people are out and about. We have our Pinpoint Weather app. You can search the App Store, just put in WPRI Pinpoint Weather. At least most of the rain cleared for the start of the race mm. this morning, Brian. I think cloudy skies, rain free. A lot of runners do like that. That's at least a break from the, the beating sun. Yes. We'll deal with the rain here. Absolutely. All right, Pete, thanks so much. Yep. Now, in stories coming up new tonight, starting.